All right, hello everyone. It's Mystic Juicer back with some more yummy action. We've got Shin Fluffiness versus Sir Handsome in Summer Smash 5 Grand Finals. And as an extra special treat, we have both Leontes and Carolad on the mic doing some co-commentary. Hello, folks. Hello, hello there again. Yep, that's Carolad, and I'm Leontes. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, I think without further ado, we're just going to let these... Uh, these uh these goons go at it so yeah not really sure what character matchup we're gonna see i know fluffy plays a lot of characters and so does her handsome so we'll we'll see like how they're posturing each other in this like pre-game yomi of character selection like will we see the straight you know persephone versus gloria like i don't so, know i mean fluffiness is definitely gonna have mental advantage he obviously won the winners finals to get in this uh far they've played twice before um fluffy won both previous meetings uh, in fact, in the Gloria versus Gloria Mirror is actually four two up uh, overall. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, if we want to talk, like we're talking a little bit about different types of players. I would categorize Leontes and Sir Handsome both in the stubborn player category. Um, mm. I put Shin, I put Fluffiness in the belligerent player category. I think I think that's an <laughs> uncontroversial okay. statement. Um, not just in terms of his play, but also in terms of his character selection. Um, like, yeah, like he, he, he started off in the Gloria mirror, um, in summer smash against Sir Handsome. I don't think he <laughs> won that. I don't think he won that. Um, uh, he did. did he? Yeah. He, he got to the winner's finals. Oh, no, no, no. Got... Sorry. The, the match, the, the actual I, individual I matchup. Yeah. I don't uh, think he, he actually he won the Gloria versus Gloria. Uh, uh, I'm going to check this now, but I'm pretty certain he did. Okay, maybe he went one one. Stats man. Yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> I was I was saying before you like you are correct. You are correct. Okay, okay. okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I saw. I think I actually watched that match. I can't remember if I uh, if I commentated it, but you did. Yeah, you did. Okay, so so yeah, like now fluffiness has said in the chat of the previous game um, that he was going to play two be two full be best of sevens with Persephone. Um, but he is a filthy liar, so right. I mean, I don't think we can really take him at his word there. Yeah, maybe Fluffy would have done that, but Shin Fluffy, I don't know. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> I mean, as a Persephone player, you can never trust a single thing they say. No, no, just just inveterate li like <laughs> inveterate liars, all of them. Yeah, you, you might even play Quince right now. Who knows? So actually, uh, going into that, who do you expect both of you to see here? Do you actually expect to see the fluffiness of the Gloria? Oh, the, the Persephone versus Gloria, I should say? Is that the matchup we're expecting to see? I'll see, yeah. I'll, I'll go for it. I'll put I my... I see my, Gloria my versus BBB. With uh, Shin Fluffiness playing Gloria and Sir Hansen playing BBB. Okay. Really? It's my hard, hard read. Yeah. Mm. That's like layer four. It's yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. That, well, that's the thing. What you do in com on commentary is you just say the most unlikely thing, and then when it happens, yeah, like, I said I said the most likely thing. Yeah, and then you have to be the other guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we'll give him the boom, boom claps. Yep, yep, yep. All right, the beginning of the end. Got it. Okay. All right. There you Hard go. Reason. See, <laughs> but but everyone's gonna forget that I got it wrong. But if okay, I say something really weird and it happens, then it's like, oh my god, look, he's a what genius. a god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So so how does this matchup actually play out? Does anybody on this call know? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure. I do. I think I kind of want to say it might be this, um, Gloria favored. Um, Stephanie's health is so low that every overdose is going to hurt like hell. That's a fair point. Yeah, but on the side of the other side of that though is that Persephone gets a lot of access to knockdown off of her options. So mm, yeah. being able to take down healing spheres, being able to prevent healing at all, um, being able to play do as told to deal with healing sphere and also Jack is pretty frustrating for Gloria. Like it, mm. it doesn't like. Like she'll, she'll keep trying to do it because she doesn't have to do a lot of damage to kill Persephone. Like it's not the important thing to keep on recurring the Jack over and over. She's trying to like burst her down. Uh, Gloria's trying to burst burst down as much as she's trying to burst her down. But right. I don't know. I think I think Gloria's low health totals will help Persephone a lot in the matchup because the way that you beat Gloria is you kind of dirtle around for a bit. You build up your resources. You get Gloria into a position where she's low Ooh. on health. <laughs> 
Okay, we're <laughs> like so. Leandas was saying a whole bunch of smart things, and then something incredibly stupid happened. So we have to we have to take a pause and really you know, like right, just right. let that wash over us, like the, the goonishness on display there from both hey, players. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it throws are str- strong from the Gloria side. Like you just you have to threaten that you're going to play two point two a lot, and so the throw game for Gloria can open up. Yeah, that's that's true actually. Yeah, I guess I guess Gloria does still control the. Uh, uh, the spacing in this matchup. Let's have a look at what's in uh, Sir Handsome's hand. Ooh, that is potentially a pretty nasty situation waiting to happen. Um, yeah, gets rid of the Joker early. That's very nice. So that's going to shut, like, it's going to reduce the amount of uh, checkmate situations that could arise later in the game. I think, now that I think about it, both of these characters are so kind of momentum based in terms of, like, so much of their kit keys off of winning combat at all. Um, yeah. it'll be, I expect this to be fairly steamrolly one way or the other, unless, uh, we get some clutch, um, mm-hmm. like back and forth happening. But in that sense, comeback so, potential right, for Gloria, right. it's always high, the comeback right. potential. Right. Fact, you can, the only character who can heal her own health that way. Uh, I feel if fluffiness gets behind, that's going to be pretty much curtains. Yeah. Yeah. It's the stuff though, like. Persephone Ooh, has nice. the dominant options in the matchup. She has the faster throw speeds. She has the ace ace attack that knocks down, which is devastating to Gloria, is like the fastest attack in the matchup. Yep. The queen's not that important, but everything else is. And Persephone kind of has like the Setsuki numbers here, right? With like a little bit more health and a little bit more lockdown. So we'll we'll see. Like, yeah, it, it's just I'm I'm worried that the way that Gloria has to play to win this is gonna put her in threat range of getting like checkmated out of a couple like good on your knees mix-ups okay. and it's gonna be rough and yeah do us told here coming out to stop the j it's just gonna work like there's no way he can take this 10 health to get the j back right with when, when you're not like super far ahead and even if you were really far ahead you still have to question whether or not it's worth doing i i wonder if that might not have been an error on uh, sir handsome's part not to just take the the jack back actually i agree with what you're saying but in this particular like in the particular world we're in right now um persephone has only six cards in hand so like the kind of the penalty of going down a little bit i mean you're not too far into the game yet as glory Mm -hmm. you really kind of control the pace at which you accelerate to the late game i don't know that It'll be interesting it's, it's, to see if he adjusts that uh, if, if this set goes long. It's not a full 10 damage you're taking from the Dude Told as well. Because yeah, you're it's getting just the that six. Back, you're, yeah. you're, you're taking four hit points back. You're going to go to six instead. Uh, it's not as painful as for other characters. It still hurts your hand economy, though. And That's true. They, both these characters care about that a lot. And if it's not off <laughs> of a uh, an overdose turn, then it is still hard for Gloria to heal. Yeah. So defying my expectations, they're actually fairly even in health right now. Uh, we've got a lot of kind of little hits back and forth here. Neither yes. really able yet to accumulate. Ooh, yeah, there's that. Start up the underneath, and yeah. it's just such a good option. That's a punishing that's, play right there. And that's the healing spear gone there. Uh, can't heal when you're not down, no opportunity. Uh, that's out of the equation. And that's the second one gone as well. On the other mm-hmm. hand, still, both characters still in a tricky hand situation where neither has yet really been able to accumulate, like, get to a point where their hands are kind of safe and developed. Um, and both of these characters, once their hands are developed, it's kind of almost impossible to push them off of that state, right? Mm-hmm. So I think the longer the longer this state continues, where they're both kind of fighting for uh, hands that can take them to the end... Um, the more even it's yeah. going to be. And Fluffy's about to get it if he can win this combat. He's got an ace, king, jack, and a nine in the discard this, pile right this now. This is a very important turn for Sir Handsome. He needs to win this combat right here. Um, Absolutely. Otherwise, he's in real trouble. Yeah, so it's either mix up normal throw or ace, ace, I imagine. I could see I dodge Fl- as well. Mm. Like outside possibility really... dodge. Ah, wild Ooh. ride. That's huge. He's going to go into uh, on your knees for the damage. Yeah. Unless he face downs, maybe he won't. Yeah, just take it. Yeah. Oh, I'm, su- a card. I'm surprised that he respected that because we've already seen one Joker denied, right? He's not He's not that deep into his deck. Um, and you still get the knockdown, it. right? You still get the <laughs> knockdown even you if... You still get uh, the knockdown, yeah. <laughs> 
So I would hit him. That was- but maybe, yeah, maybe Fluffiness just wants to... I mean, this is very... That's the most conservative line of play, right? You could have taken there. It's just, okay, all right, I'll, I'll let it go. <laughs> just throw away a card. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It looks like he grabbed some power-up fodder. He didn't grab the ace. Um, you got a J2, 3, and a 9. Yeah, so cross-up free options. I'll the cross-up central. Ooh. We didn't see yeah, it last and- game, or last turn, so it's got to come out this turn. It's It was yeah, an American you- reset, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So here's your dominant option, though. It's yeah. she still has. If you don't have a zero speed or a zero point uh, two thing to deal with this, like you always have to respect. I'm going to get thrown, mixed up, or just hit with the raw on your knees, and it's yeah. really tough to get out of this. Joker is like your only way out. Like that's probably one of the things you can do. Like one of the ways you can say, okay, dodge is pretty good here. Right. But I don't know. It, it's so good for Persephone to just go for some kind of media option. That's the thing, though. Like, I mean, Sir Handsome, like, you talk about uh, matchups, like Gloria versus Midori. It's, it can yeah, be a very similar, it can be a very similar thing. And I, I see the stubbornness, right, from for Sir, from Sir Handsome. It's like, well, okay, you've played it, you've played on your knees twice. You're definitely not going to play it again, right? It's guaranteed that I get to duff a throw here. And, uh, and then <laughs> just, get, normal, yeah, yeah, it just gets punished by, by the on your knees. Oh, Val. switch to Valerie. Uh, Leontes, tell me something about this matchup. <laughs> um, I mean, Val can kill you. <laughs> it's just <laughs> all right. TM, put that on the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Val's decided, decided yeah. to throw me, get hit by two, get by life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So in this matchup, Valerie has one button that undercuts the on your knees. Um, also trades with uh, Persephone's queen. So Crimson Passion is really important for wake up. In this matchup, also just having Joker around to make sure that you don't lose. Like, Valerie doesn't really get screwed by um, Mistress's Command as much as other characters because she doesn't have a lot of individual card quality, right? Right. Like, the yeah. best thing you can steal away from her is a Joker or a Masterpiece. Or maybe a Jack. Like, if, if she just has, like, King, King, Jack, and she's been sitting on it, you can probably throw the Jack away. Pen- but um, it could be very uh, tempting to get rid of as well, I imagine. Yeah, but, but it's, just, it's just little pieces of stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, that's not too devastating really to get rid of. She's really fast, she hits really hard, and she can build up um, card advantage with Chromatic Orb, which is not going so well for Sir Handsome at the moment. Still, he has managed to find his way to a nine-card hand um, without getting thrown, which is the thing that I was expecting Fluffiness to immediately do, which is just go in for throws, because that that is, I feel like, the core weakness that Valerie has is that early game where she's got to kind of dirtle around mm-hmm. <laughs> and try to yep. find you know a grip of cards because more than like you said like i haven't actually heard that expressed as much but uh, it's absolutely yeah. true her individual card quality is completely meaningless it's just yes. volume like she just has to have if she has 13 cards that's a good hand by definition <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like looking at a character like Argagarg, where if you power up one ace and you have a throw you got a real mix up Yep. For Val, it's like you got to have a lot of juice behind the thing that you're trying to do. Yeah, lots of rising pleasure coming out of Fluff. He just doesn't want to get hit by anything, and that's, yeah. that's fair. That um, makes sense. But uh, yeah, like even then, if your combo gets jokered, you, like say you land a, a poke with Val and you do this big unload, even if, you, if it hits, like say it doesn't get jokered, right? Yeah. That's like a whole aspect of your character that has been diffused like a bomb, right? right. That bomb's gone off, you're down 30 health, and now what does Valerie have? Okay. She has to... Uh, I don't know, throw you with the five throws she's got in her hand. She's got to land some aces. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's a she's a weird sort of character where she does have this sort of ebb and flow quality to her, where you gotta you gotta make sure that your bursts land, and then you have some kind of follow up for them afterwards. Like, Ooh. throw into J plus. You know, that's one of the ways that she can get mileage out of that after like a I don't know, like a four normal ace ace combo. Yeah, and so she's gotta build a certain kind of hand in order to pressure you a lot. I think this juices a uh, call out of Sir Hansen's stubbornness again being proven there. Three throws in a row. Uh, so mm-hmm. All in, all in very fast attack from fluffiness. Just <laughs> it's, get basi- off. <laughs> it's basically uh, fluffiness has just looked over at Sir Hansen and go and, and and said, "Check out my can, though. Check out my can." Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, shore you immediate shore you after shore you. <laughs> just- well, I mean, this is why Valerie loses to Jaina, right? Like yeah. she just can't handle repeated uppercuts, and this is a character that can recur them at all. You have Ace Ace, you have queen um valerie's dodge game is abysmal i'd say like it's the reason i stopped playing the character actually was that she didn't have a good dodge follow-up to prevent this oh exactly from dominating the neutral <laughs> oh, 
Yo, you ever you ever hit with every single uppercut? <laughs> I think I said a YouTube video. This is a Daigo versus Gamer video over here. Yeah, <laughs> All it's missing is a stun. <laughs> and the three whiffed uppercuts on the way to the corner, you know? Oh my god. This is brutal. But yeah, I think I think Sir Hansen was here's not here's expecting to be block. These. That's my read right here. Oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, is this is going to be this is going to be into single ace just for maximum? Uh... No, no, you have to hit her. Yeah, <laughs> no, but you it's, don't care. It's fluffiness. I'm not saying it's smart. I'm saying that <laughs> fluffiness should have played single ace. A lot of everything I know about this character is no longer making any sense. He's unreadable. He's he's truly ascended to uh, the highest heights he can achieve. Apparently, if you're kind of a dark character with low HP, you can just throw all the time or uppercut yeah, over and over, and over again. Yeah. yeah, we finally see. Oh no! <laughs> yep. Oh it. no! Yeah. He just takes it. Got another yeah. one. Oh man, that is brutal. Yeah, this is fine. Loses combat skill does ten damage. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, right. and if this gets chokered, it's pretty devastating. Okay. Uh, even so, that's still a. I had lost. Take yeah. like down six cards. You're even more susceptible to DP spam. <laughs> the only thing working in his favor is that three queens are already in the discard. Got him. That's it. Oh man, Fluffiness just putting on a clinic right now. Yeah, showing it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like as like Val's weakness is repeated reversals. It's why she is weak against Grave. It's why I say she's weak against Midori. Um, and Minelker is like, well, they can both kill each other. But she's like a Minelker with less defense. Like, Minelker can at least yeah. fend, fend off what you're trying to do to him while he's building his hand with black face cards, right? Like, just yeah. throw out a black king and it randomly hits. You're like, oh, you, you decided to try to throw me. Well, okay, I'll throw all my aces at you. Yeah. And it'll hurt. And I'll still be kind of card neutral. Whereas Val is like, she has to just kind of sit there and like, yeah, dirtle around until she has an offense. And that dirtling around leads her very susceptible to jokers, which is giving her opponent time yes. to draw jokers, which is right. Valerie's other weakness. She's got very little front-loaded damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would agree. She's she's Manelker without the, uh, um, what is it, uh, the the super throw. Yeah. Yeah. Without the the dodge burst, yeah, exactly. The, the, exactly. the game, the, the game stealing, like the thief category. That's right. Fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to be able to be unfair. That's that's definitely yeah, exactly. something you and, want. And that's, and that's like the characters that can get away with it. Also, just have real like with not having that, have really strong neutral, like Arg yeah, and BBB yeah. and Gloria. Like Persephone is considered a low tier character for that reason as well. Is that yeah. what's her big burst thing that she does? Like she has to win several combats in a row to even develop enough damage in hand to to burst you out with something and then maybe land a mind control which is easy to play around yep. like she doesn't have just a hey time to guess you know yeah Minelker and midori do that so as as weak as Minelker may seem on face or sorry midori on face value and Minelker too is considered low tier as well Ooh. wow wake up throw cheeky yeah i know extremely cheeky i don't disagree with it um he has <sighs> oh man <laughs> just has it fluffy he's just a boy yeah i know <laughs> so, so yeah what i was gonna say was even though midori Minelker can be considered low tier characters i still put them kind of above the power level of characters even like quince because they just have the ability to steal games in like two and three turns yep so no matter how limited they are and how card dependent they are it's like you saw the game one uh, just now against uh, Sir Handsome and against uh, mm. very BBB. I just destroyed him because my hand was good. I made some good reads and it was just a total wash. Yeah. And any character that can just dominate someone like that, like Valerie will run out of cards trying to do what Midori can do. That's true. Yeah. And, and kill you in 10 cards, right? And just like, wow, he's he's down to zero and he, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I spent my entire hand on that and it's like, well, <laughs> you know, I, I can at least do that. Yeah. Like Val's thing is have a hand size and then sort of eke out tiny little micro advantages by spending the hand in curious ways. Like mm -hmm. you pump your jack a bunch to get more damage out of it. You can pump your queen if you feel like it. Um, you can spend tens to really make a combat stick. You can spend sevens to, to hurt a little bit more, or dig deeper through your deck. So it's like, she just needs so much stuff. Yep. And uh, just the the continuing story of this match uh, or this set so far is uh, 
<laughs> Yomi level one beats Yomi level two. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, but it, have it's, dominant option, play exactly, dominant option. Exactly, and and so long as I mean it, it's tough, right? You if you are playing against somebody with a dominant option, you have to you have to be a, a certain amount of courageous, right? You can you can't just play safe, but you also do occasionally have to play safe. <laughs> you, yeah. you can't just always yeah. try to punish uh, layer two, it's, especially if it's low uh, it's low costs for the dominant option. So, like I was saying about Arg BBB, and I guess Persephone is kind of showing this off as well. When you have a really good two A super. You can't do the thing like, okay, I have 70 health. Oh, there you go. Okay. Good wake up. Makes his way out. Puts a, so like, puts a dent on him. If you have 70 health against a grave and grave has t just throw him. Yeah. Just throw that guy. Yeah. Make him play that. Get right? it out of his <laughs> hand. Yeah. Don't be afraid of it because if you sit there blocking and he gets like four throws and this is how you lose to Zane, right? Yeah. He has anarchy in his hand and he throws you six times and you die. Yeah. Or two times and you die. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Depending on where you're at. <laughs> but you can't make that same sort of thing where it's like ah, i know you have on your knees i'm gonna make you play it i'm gonna do it. and they, they do and then they get it back yeah okay great <laughs> so <do we> actually, <laughs> was there any exchange of resources here not really like he's trying to wake up with a throw or a normal attack just to to get some low cost to valerie way of getting up but no he's gonna make you pay you have to spend a crimson, a crimson passion you have to spend a joker you have to you have to block it yeah. and with a 40 hp lead it's, what what's going to change his mind? Like, why would he rough. stop doing it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You can't. You're you're in the the worst of both worlds, right? You you yeah. have to respect it, but you also can't allow him to just eke out There's, safe oh. stuff. Oh, yeah. One of the first dodges of the set. Yeah, he's finally just, and, and this is where the mix up happens, right? Yeah. It's so heavily in Fluffy's favor, though, considering Val is knocked down, she can't just easy dodge up. The life lead is, is so tremendous that the risks that uh, Fluffy can take are way higher. Yeah. So it's it's just the illusion of the risk you might take can lead you to play the safe option even more yeah. and just keep on writing it. I, I wonder if... Um, does Sir Handsome switch back to Gloria after this? I, I honestly think that the Gloria match... I mean, obviously he was uncomfortable in it because he switched out of it pr fairly quickly, but yeah. it was fairly even i felt like there were definitely okay good block good block <laughs> only when it alive. will kill me will i block underneath yeah <laughs> hey it's an improvement it's yeah. <laughs> hey i did that i blocked a bunch of uh <laughs> finally blocked a bunch of piss and hurricanes and then That's went right. 10 still still we're in the we're in the uh you gotta be right you gotta be yes. a, you gotta be right so many times I mean, you can just pick almost any option here. There's fairly little risk. You, know, he, you can't die from 65 health. Even Valerie can't burst that high. Yeah. Um, you no, know, she can do a good 40, 50, but you know, you're still going to live. Mm -hmm. And if you've got to win two, three good combos. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, and that, that might have been a consideration as well. Like, Persephone is known as the lowest velocity character in the game. So it just, maybe that's a little bit of. Like why? I mean, I'd rather play to gray here for, the, for that reason, right? right. Yeah. If you want to just play a character that will just light you up with three cards, and you don't have jokers because you're playing Persephone and you're too slow. Yep. Um, I think that would be a better consideration, but it's a part of the it's a part of the puzzle as to why Val could do well mm -hmm. against Purse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just I'm wondering. I don't know if um, uh, Caroline, if you have any stats on how often. Um, oh, so handsome Google. has oh my god <laughs> that's that life lead coming in you're yeah. up by 50 health just wake up throw no sure. big deal yeah. why not what's the worst that could happen <laughs> especially if, if he if he has a joker on deck this becomes, oh yeah it's risk free yeah exactly so you can say uh, the, um, oh yeah I, i'm just wondering if uh if sir handsome has like if there's something about this matchup like you know has, has he been labbing I mean, it I mean, has he played this in the past I mean, statistically, like again, not going to get so handsome, but going in general, it's Valerie favorite. Um, it's a four to six matchup you know, statistically uh, okay. in that uh, regard. Um, I don't think he, he, as far as I can tell, and again, I'm just having a quick look here, he's never played this matchup before. Okay. He's, he, so he does not have experience. This is purely a, again, I'm going off your list. Right, don't, right. We can't account for offline uh, play. Um, but, you know, it, oh, this no. is a new territory and it's a call. Ooh. 
All right, signs of life. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, now you just need one more. Do how many jacks? Seven how many jacks are left? That's the question. Like yeah. dodge into jack is now credible, but how many dodges yeah. are left? Oh my god, all the twos are spent. We've got a three, a four, a three, and a four. There are two yeah. dodges remaining. Two crimson passions left in the deck as well. Those are very strong options at this point because they yeah. deal. Um, two of them will kill basically. Also, all the queens left are for fluffiness. He has not played a single queen yet. Oof. That's you know, just for mm, yeah. alone. That could be. A, I enough. feel like he would have spent them by now, though. Uh, I don't think he would have dodged in these situations if he had the queens to spend. Oh Ooh. boy! Is fluffiness taking risks? Why would he do such a thing? So that, that king. This kind one's, of this one's a joker. But he's got the ace to back it up. This he might be dead, but no, no, no. No, okay, he lives. Like even 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 Purse's velocity. We're looking at twenty-seven cards. Yeah. You know, gotta have one of them. Yeah, Joker the kill shot. Don't Joker the other thing, right? Yeah. So what what does that king from um, to handsome tell you there? Um, do you think he's got no jacks left to bump with? Would you want to keep the king there for that, or is it just a pure option select to maybe maybe get past a block? I think he was just trying to kill. Uh, I mean, that would have been lethal, right? They would have been twenty-two yeah. Yeah. damage. Um, yeah. So I think he just doesn't have. Uh, like he saw he saw a chance and he just went for it. Yeah. The scary thing is that might as well have been a ten attack. He cannot play a uh, burst of speed against the duos told right now. Right. Yeah. Yep. So that was a hard, hard, hard read on throw. Or just, yeah, I have lethal with this. I'll play it. And you're dead. Ooh, ah. And that's it. On your knees comes out, shuts down Sir Handsome's hopes in game three. And that was almost 100% from Fluffy there. Uh, that, no, the only thing that would have really beaten it would have been in Queen. Um, he, you know, Sir Handsome couldn't block. The chip enough would have been enough. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And he had one dodge left. Okay. Sticking with Valerie. Um, okay. So, tenacious. Yeah. It's, <laughs> stubbornness. Stubbornness can be a benefit, but it can also be a curse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fluffiness just whispered me Persephone is a terrible character. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't deny that. You know, she's frustrating. Uh, I think she's low tier for a reason. No, no yeah. I know. I, I think he just meant like she can be. In this case, she is a terror. <laughs> like oh, she can oh, that, be. Well, a terror. yes, that too. <laughs> I've played against Fluffiness. This is person. It is <laughs> horrifying. Nice, nice misplay there from yeah. Persephone <laughs> from Fluffy. Ooh. Well, yeah, and this is the thing too. Like, Barrier Soul is gonna decimate these Valhands. Like, what are you gonna do? Just give her a bunch of throws, right? Ooh. Yeah. It, no tens for you, no sevens, like just yeah. here's your eights and nines and you know, fives. Or do you just, I want you to have Do you get rid of everything except the throws? No, okay. Just just get rid of the throws. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's rid of the eight there, but I mean if you, you give them no throws, I guess. Yeah. Like the, the seven and the ten were guaranteed. Um yeah. but yeah, I guess the eight was the best remaining one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah, at that point it's like, well, I've already gotten rid of like your seven i've gotten rid of another move that kind of puts you on even footing in the early game uh, i might as well toss out a another throw mm -hmm. all right still um everyone's still alive right now so right. <laughs> sir handsome still has a shot here he, he was making some stuff happen in the in the last game so he's he's adjusted perhaps a little bit Still waking up with those normal attacks. Like he just, mm. I guess he wanted to capitalize on. Okay, Fluffy probably doesn't have a good throw option at the moment. Uh, hmm. The gold burst. I, I, no, I do. I do agree with the Joker there. Um, you, whenever you get dodged specifically, if you've got a Joker in the hand, you've got to play it because the risk of not you know, guessing it aced, the single ace is always high. Yeah, but I guess I guess you lose it either way, right? If he gets yeah, ace, I suppose. But again, uh, going yeah, back to that point. argument on that Leontes was making at the beginning of the set, that you know, Valerie is kind of immune to single ace because all of her hand, all of her cards are individually bad, <laughs> only good as a collective. I mean, um, you just use the Joker to draw two cards. Yeah, that's that's true. Sure. That's I mean, true. I mean Fluffy, no, Persephone's burst is not high anyway. She does not do high damage in combo. Yeah. The high she does is 16 onto on your knees or maybe a jack plus plus. But these are rare. Yeah. I think throwing out the Joker there was absolutely fine. Yeah, I yeah, I, I would just that. 
I was just thinking that if he got hit with an MC, like he wasn't going to take a lot of damage. He wasn't going to lose much hand size, like hand quality. But I see what you mean, though. The Joker just is gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like no matter what happens, you're not you're not getting that Joker. So yeah. it's like Manelker too, right? Same concept. Yeah. yeah. Still fairly even so far. Ooh. Oh. And there we go again. But why? <laughs> I I I. I have to think that Sir Handsome is just getting stuck in the, well, obviously any player, you know, any character fighting against Valerie is going to be throwing her in the early game. So I should just be able to get away with, uh, yeah. you know, counter throwing and, and pushing buttons. And uh, yeah. Fluffiness is just not allowing that game style, that play style at all. Uh, it's just like DPs, my friend. These are the real killers. <laughs> let me let me teach you the the true so meaning the of oppression. Killer, the real killer here, uh, Fluff, uh, Fluffiness now knows that Sir Handsome has no even block at this moment, uh, unless he draws one right now. Right. His only option to avoid cross up into even block is either two attack, which obviously ties with uh, Stephanie's two attack, or queen. If he can bait those out, it is going to be brutal. Uh, known single ace. Okay, just walks okay. into DP. That's not too bad. No, he's need, he needed to find those earlier in the set, though. Those Crimson Passions needed to come out yeah. to at yeah. least like trade with the uh, Rising Pleasures. <laughs> yeah. I mean, eight damage is not too bad against a uh, character made of paper like Persephone. Mm -hmm. Yo. Oh, here we go. Fluffiness getting yeah. a little antsy. Pushing buttons when he doesn't have to. So how's like him going in? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I wonder though. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because like throwing, tossing the throw, like there's so many throws gone already. Right. That it makes it tough to say, okay, this seven is going to be worth four damage. Right. Yeah. A and a card draw. Uh, like I'm could, not sure. It could have been uh, if he had, uh, if he only had two other normals. I can see playing the seven, trying to fish the the fourth one, because you really yeah. want to be playing the. Oh my you, need, God. you have to get you have to get two aces out of your normal chains. Yeah. yeah. But but also the ability to um to draw a card while not under Bay or Soul to get uh, yeah. a card that is unknown to Flash. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So having that you know, that layer can be a big help. That's a fair point. Still fairly even, and Sir Handsome now has a hand. Uh, it's just a question of can he ever connect with anything. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he's, he's not he's not waking up with block very often no like that's that's been the story here is like yeah. if he had woken, woken up with block a lot more he'd be doing a lot better yeah and you've, you've you know it's scary but you've got to do it again yeah. it's scary but you gotta do it yeah. yeah it's like eating your vegetables you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i mean i mentioned that like you don't want to it's hard to drain resources but purse actually does struggle for resources if she doesn't get her combat wins yeah like she can't just power up anything to get aces like Ardgard can, right? It just yeah. it's not she's not getting a, a single ace play that is solid. Oh no. Oh, that's Well, you know what? At this point, yeah, I, does she need him? I don't think she really does. Um we know there's two there's two known aces in uh, Sir Handsome's hand, so he's he's got enough burst, I think. Uh mm. it's just a matter of actually connecting uh, with a couple of combats he's got enough uh dodges still in play he can credibly play you know dodge into single ace dodge into double ace if he needs to but waking up with just these buttons using the block yeah. mm. oh no at this point we've got no jack in uh fluffiness's hand any cross up is lethal at this yeah. point yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so the two the two folk is trying to either trade with the two or just wake up to beat the three or the four yeah yeah so I get it. It's not like he's doing objectively wrong things this no. whole time. No, like, it's, not at it's, all. That's it's not what we're trying me. to say. As yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, no, no, no. I mean, we, no, these two made it to grand finals. They are yeah. good. Players. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's one of those things. Like, um, uh, I think CPAT mentioned it in uh, in the set where you sent me, uh, where you eliminated me from the uh, tournament, and he's like. There's a lot of a lot of smart plays that look really dumb. Like, yeah. you know, it's one of those things. Like, it's yep. it's 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 the dark side of the stubborn of the stubborn mentality of like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to maintain my range, and you are going to change it because you have less patience than I do. So I'm going to keep waking up with buttons. It's, it's a game of chicken. Yeah. Yep. yep. It's the throw throwing a BBB who's not down just because. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
Yeah, and and the brutal thing about Yomi as well is that because everything is slowed down, good block. Nice. Because everything is slowed down, you can't you can't like rely on like in a real fighting game, you could rely on someone's subconscious response to stuff, and yeah. you can get them to do things like get them to reversal because they're actually scared or whatever. Like I, I feel like fast timer Yomi, I, I do really well as Midori oh, yeah. in that. Because people just like when I'm in dragon form and the mix up is too complicated to really figure out quick, they just like hit a button. Yeah. And then I get to hit a DQ. And I would never land that. Like yeah, or, if or, you or have just three dodges. Yeah. yeah. If you had time, you might do something different. But in this game, it's like in just slow format. Oh, 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 yes, oh. Yes, that's it. Uh, this is all <laughs> the burst of speed to get under it. <laughs> <laughs> he avoids the dp see that's real high level play <laughs> that's right oh man a brutal set by uh by shin fluffiness yeah um winning summer summer smash now twice in a row oh mm. no yeah that is that's crazy yeah that is that is a repeat uh, uh win something we very very rarely see in uh in in this game so kudos to fluffiness uh for playing an absolutely gross and and dominating uh uh, uh play here uh and kudos to sir handsome for the second place finish that is not shabby at all uh certainly nothing to sneeze at um and yeah. just shout, shout outs to uh Shout outs to Pickle for beating me in round one and yeah. then making me play like 10 games to, to all the way to right. The hardest working man in Yomi, certainly. Uh, <laughs> so brutal. All right. Well, thank so, you both for uh, joining me uh, in the casting booth. Very much appreciated. Uh, it's been a yeah, real pleasure. Fun. Thank you for having me. Cool. All right. All right. Until next time, everybody, uh, enjoy yourselves some Yomi. And remember to occasionally block on wake up. You, you got to do it. You got to do it. <laughs> <laughs>